from Warwick Castle. So Warwick Castle is one of the attractions included in Merlin. So with our manual, our manual? manual pass, with our <laughs> annual pass, we're able to get in here for free. Yes. So um, we did pre-book. Yes, so in. as with all so, Merlin yeah. attractions, you have to pre-book. Pre yeah. So we're here today, there's loads of stuff happening. So we've got a falconry show, we've got the treble show. Trebuchet to see. <laughs> it's not a show off right there at the minute. Oh, no. No, it's just there. Just hmm. there. They don't, oh. And then back in the, in the summer, they've got the um, War of the Roses live coming back. Yeah, we did see that before and it's really worth coming to see. But we've just had the... Bowman. Bowman, that's it. So the show starts in three minutes, so we're going to go see him first. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Um, um, now, this is not a Bowman demonstration, this is a Bowman show, okay? As this is a show, I've got to start with a bit of a dramatic intro. So, a dramatic entrance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disappear down the ditch, <laughs> then I'll re-emerge to the sound of the good people of Warwick rejoicing at my presence, yes? Yes. Good, I'm glad somebody's <laughs> on the same page. Right, so I'll come back up big cheer, okay? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh, sorry, false alarm. <laughs> I forgot my boat. <laughs> can't start the show without it. <laughs> but it could have been a bit louder, alright? <laughs> Here we go. Ready, Josh, when he comes back up, we're going to shout. Mm. Yay! <laughs> Well, thank you, good people, for such a surprising welcome. <laughs> you join me here on the east front of Warwick Castle. I am the Warwick Bowman, Master Lewis. But I begin with some terrible news. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I have to go to war. Boo. Oh. Thank you for the sympathy. <laughs> yes, tomorrow, me and my 300 archers from this county, we march for Coventry. More sympathy, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And there we meet with the rest of our force of 15,000. We then descend upon the capital, London, where we have a mammoth task. We must take a king from a throne and replace that king with a different king. But I'm pretty sure we put that king on the throne we're trying to take off in the first place. It is confusing, but nevertheless, we don't worry about politics, it's boring. No, we have the job in hand. We march with our arrows and the true star of the show, the English longbow. So allow me to introduce my bow the tall blonde here. <laughs> she is six foot seven. 75 pounds in her draw weight. She is a she, therefore, I've given her a name. Her name is Cariad. <laughs> yeah, you're chewing a big stick, well done. <laughs> so, when we reach the designated area of combat, the battlefield, it is I, as captain, who give the commands to my archers. Now, the first command will be archers, knock, which means load your arrow onto the bow. Followed by draw, pull the bow, pull the string. Quickly followed by loose, let go. You knew where I was going with that one, weren't you? So it goes, you knock, you draw, you loose. It goes, knock. knock. <laughs> See, this is why we have rehearsals, okay? <laughs> Don't be shy. We're all doing it together. It goes! Knock! 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 knock. Oh, Lord. Come on, you lot in the middle. A bit louder. It's knock. a command. You should die in front. <laughs> it goes! Knock! Knock! Draw! Knock! Hey. Knock! knock. knock. Loose. Better. Excellent. When I wait for my first command. Knock! Knock! knock. Draw! Loose. Good! Hey. Keep it going, keep it going. Knock! knock. Draw! Loose. Good! Uh, now that is shooting longbow. It is relatively simple, really. It's just two bits of wood, feather, and string. You stick the little bit of wood on the big bit, pull the string, let the string go, and off it goes. <laughs> simple, right? Oh, yeah. It's got to be simple because of the people that use it. <laughs> now we are required to loose our arrows quick and far at a rate of 10 to 15 arrows every minute, up to a distance of 400 yards. Mm. 400 yards, quarter of a mile, past that gnarly old tree in the distance. So if we are to hit such distance, we must shoot in a slightly different way. We don't just push our bows upon an individual, a person or a target. 
We lift the bow to the sky and loose the arrow to the heavens! Oh, none of the school kids are up there. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> so, sadly, I'm not allowed to shoot tourists or school children. <laughs> I'm all right. Sorry, that's the training kicking in. This is the sweet shot, okay? This is what we want to get on our enemies every single time. Right, right in the neck causes <laughs> maximum pain, <laughs> ah! maximum blood spurt, and guaranteed death. The thing you can guarantee on the battlefield is to hit the battlefield. However, that's okay, because we have two jobs. The first job is, of course, to cause pain and death, but also to cause fear, panic, and pandemonium. For we will be shooting in 10 seconds 9,000 arrows in the first wave. So if one misses, don't worry, there'll be several coming after you. So you then make the decision. Do I carry on marching towards the storm of arrows or do I turn and run towards the sun? I know which one I would do. That over there, bobbing around, is the target of the swollen lamb's bladder. Whatever you thought it was before, it's not one of those. <laughs> it's the swollen lamb's bladder, okay? Oh. <laughs> yeah, very it's like the toughest oh, lamb's bladder there. <laughs> <laughs> You don't play in a minute, mate. Let's just watch him Right, it's going to be this one, right? Lucky seven. Hey! <laughs> Manipulate and stretch so your left arm could grow up to six inches longer, which is why you look like that. Mm. Don't worry, fellas, this look is a killer with the ladies. <laughs> because you get the best of both worlds. On one side, a lean, glossy, athletic, and on the other, you get a beefcake. <laughs> <laughs> it's the peasant that is the true hero of the battlefield, right? Yeah. Yeah. That ain't bad for somebody who doesn't have much in their lives. When it comes to money, food, teeth, we don't even have long lives. But you know what? It doesn't matter. And it doesn't get us down. Because we all have something that keeps us going. And that is, of course, two pieces of wood. Feather and strip. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Mm. And enjoy your day at Warwick Castle. Oh, they just stun him. He's coming to rob it. <laughs> See, I'm stunning. <laughs> ha ha. Hmm. So, if you weren't aware, there is a lot of peacocks around White Castle. You'll probably hear them a lot in the back of the video. But we're now heading to the peacocks' um, house, is it? Conservatory Tea House. Conservatory Tea House, which is. No? Yeah, so we're now heading to Conservatory Tea House, which is in the Peacock Gardens. for some lunch. So like we say, it's been quite a while since we came last time, and since then they've added a load of Zog stuff, which is part of like the Gruffalo family. Um, so there's Zog, the Gruffalo, there's the Snail and the Whale, and there's quite a few of us. All written by Julia Donaldson. Yeah, so... And you can do the quest for the Golden Star. <laughs> so if we've got time, we're going to do this. It was when we came in at the start. So you got to go through, go through all his years in, in, in Dragon School. Really cute. So Just like this book. Yeah, so the Gruffalo is obviously now at Wycross Zoo and Zog is here. The Gruffalo is at Chessington as well. Yes, it Gruffalo. is. <laughs> you can also meet Zog here. This is all the times. Thank you.
this is the food. Literally, but all we've got here at the minute is sandwiches, and then down at the other place is um, pastas. Pastas. So we're stuck with sandwiches. Yeah, because, it's not a great food offering at the minute. So all it? of this, we got it for sixteen pound, and it should have been twenty, but because we've got Merlin yeah. in the pass, which I think is very pricey. Yeah, five pound fifty for, for a sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. So we should have forward planned and Probably should have bought, bought a picnic, but yeah. Still lovely nice out here, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. See the peacocks. <laughs> Hear the peacocks. <laughs> So we've walked back down to the entrance, which is just here, because we want to go through the castle, through the drawbridge. It just wouldn't feel right not doing it that way, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tap arrows. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob was just saying about a hot tour. So, if you got through this bit here, we'd shut that. There's a ball for this. And then, before you got here, we'd shut that. So, you were trapped. And then. And then we'd throw things at you, so we'd throw boiling jam, boiling water, tar, Species. anything really, yeah. Anything that wouldn't be very pleasant. So we do have a dungeons here, but even as a minimum pass holder you still have to pay. We have done it before and it is well worth doing, so obviously it's like original. And you can walk all the way around, which we're going to do. So we do have a shop. Oh, Carlo. <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. It's really cool in here. Oh, oh nice, it's it. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. That's official match. And they have a pin. You could use this outfit. You want the pin? We need to do the quest though. Yeah, cute. Well, all, the all the roses, all yeah. Roses, yeah. House of York and Lancaster, Bruce and then. That was really worth seeing. Yeah. It's not on, it starts back in July. This I think. is really nice. Yeah, and then there's a bear, which I'm not sure of the reference of the bear. Hmm, yeah, because we're in Warwick. Warwick is, the bear is Warwick symbol, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. You don't believe me, do you? I'm not sure. <laughs> they have loads of pin badges. You can actually do a pin badge. Three pound fifty. I don't know if I got all. We're we'll seeing this at yeah. three o'clock. Mm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. We've got a dungeon one. Castle dungeon, this is after, yeah. Oh, that one's cool. What about that glows in the dark? Oh, yeah. It looks like um, Yzma. It <laughs> <laughs> just needs to be a llama. <laughs> Essence of llama. <laughs> we also have a cool little machine where you can make your own merch. So like this. Have your name on it. That's really cool. So we're going to go over here and do what's called the King's Maker first, which is this here, which says it will take you on a journey through the sight, sounds and smells of medieval England. <laughs> what was this buying just one pin? You bought four. Four, yeah. So, so we bought the Zog one. Yeah, because you can only get here. We saw the archery show today, so we thought we'd get that one. Bowman. The Bowman, yeah. <laughs> we're going to see the Falconer's Quest. Yeah. And then we've done the dungeons before, and I thought yeah. as because it's because nice, it yeah. says the castle on it. Oh, it's obviously the dungeons, isn't yeah. it? Not like... Because <laughs> the rest of them is like the Old Town Dungeon yeah, or the it's not Edinburgh Dungeon. dungeon. Isn't it? How much are they? £12 pounds oh, for all four with Merlin discount, so hmm. that's not £3 pounds each. So next we're going to put Natalie in jail. What for? Um, um, <laughs> can't think of anything. Look at that. Uh -huh. Adjust. In we go. Actually spelt jail, as in jail. In we go. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. It's cold in here. Is it cold? Yeah. It's like going down when we're in Bristol. Oh, into the... Into the woods. No, the, the rock. Woods. <laughs> into the woods. Into the woods, the Oh my. Here we go. Oh, 
we go. We're officially in jail now, and it's very, very dark. So I'm going to switch to the phone, I think, because I can't see very much. So we switched to the phone, you can actually see now. So on the wall, wall stocks. What? Yeah. No, what are they? Oh, they're light torture. Oh, right, yeah. Well, it's different shapes, so it depends on the day. I guess when the guards could be like, oh, let's put this shape on you today. Oh, that's the cross on the top of there, look. Reminds me of um, Walking Dead. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're all religious, aren't they? Yeah. They're the wall stocks up there, look. Yeah, well, Hanging from them. It says here about them. So what, what? So one of the things is it says prisoners destined for particularly harsh treatment were meant to be bundled into a small, damp, and lightless pit <laughs> down here. So people will be put in there. Oh, wow. Wow. It is claustrophobic and in an in, in, oh, in sanitary space, telling known as the uh, what's that word? No, I don't know that word. <laughs> this one, oubliette. Oh, it's called an oubliette. And it's literally just as big enough to stand in. It says, you cannot the get word, it. it says, um, the wretched prisoner was, as the name implies, forgotten. So they die down there. Link. The smell hits you as soon as you walk in here. Are they going to make a king out of me? No. We're going to make <laughs> a king Ooh. out of you. <laughs> what a day! My master, Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, maker of kings, going to battle for Henry, the rightful king of England. Long live King Henry! And we've noticed something that we recognise. This. When we did Hole in One at York, we um, golfing. We got this. <laughs> so just as you come out, just at the end here, is where the other cafe is. That's really cool down here. It's really cool in here. This is the seat in the a cafe. Hmm. Now that is known as the Conquest Fortress, it's the oldest part of the castle. Hmm. Why is that a mound? Because it would have been like originally a Mott and Bailey castle. So oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Wooden. And then this is the. Well, it's called the Time Tower, which I don't think it would have called that. <laughs> he said they've made that up. <laughs> there's, a, uh, 
multimedia experience in there. Yeah. And then this is all the uh, Great Hall and State rooms. Yeah, we're going in there now. And then you can walk all the way along, like I said earlier, that's Guy's Tower. That's Guy's tower. tower, which is the tallest tower. So to walk all the way around, there's 530 steps, would you say? Yes, a lot. So we're going to go and hear this. We have some free tours as well on, which is really good. I love tours, don't you? Oh yeah, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the minute is the Ultimate Castle Tour. And that's just over there, where a big group of people are. I love a good tour. You do. I just love finding stuff out that you'd never ever find out unless mm. you went on the tour. Yeah, okay. You just get bored. <laughs> I don't get bored. No, like, you like okay. to do your own pace. I do, I do, yeah. that is. So we're now going into the Great Hall. This is pretty great. It is. Just wait till we see it. Hmm. Today. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So this is called the Kennel Buff Buffet and it is carved out of one single oak tree. It's just incredible. How amazing is that? It depicts the love story with Queen Elizabeth I I and Robert Dudley. Hmm. Ah, the Bear and Reggie staff is featured heavily and was the crest of the Earls of Warwick. So earlier with the yeah. pin badges, what was that? I don't know what the bear's for. He didn't believe me. But it was to do with Warwick. Look how it's got chain on No. It's spectacular. It really is over. The chapel.
927, the Anglo-Saxons had conquered and united the surrounding lands to form England. So we're now off to walk around the top, so it's one way. So you go in through yeah. this door here, and then round, and you come back down by the King's Maker. Oh. Oh, we're here. Not breath, but we're here. These are amazing. So Rizzy's grids all the way around. And they show right down. So you can't scare the heights. Never mind. Loose the arrow to the heavens! <laughs> <laughs> right, the worst bit now. Back right down. Play doors. I know she'll go to jelly. Alright, <laughs> oh, you're going off. <laughs> so you'll always walk down this way because most people are right-handed. So when people are going down and the enemy's coming up, obviously you've got more an advantage because otherwise if you're right-handed you'll hit this. So when you, if you're left-handed, you mean? No, if you're coming up and you're right-handed. Oh, that's it. Yeah, 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 of course. Most enemies will be coming up oh, and yeah, then yeah. we'll be coming down. Oh. Yeah. That's well, why the staircases go this way, yeah. Yeah, we'll always go this way. That's a bit dark. Never the other way. There we go. Like it's full of the facts today. Hello. There. The distance, well, not in the distance, by the river is the uh, trebuchet. I think when we go to the falconry show, you'll see that. That's where they do the uh, War of the Roses show. I think they use, do they use it in that? I think they might do, you know. So, so this, yeah, it is. There's the remains of the 14th century bridge. It used to go to the old main London road. Yeah, well, so I think I said that earlier. It's like a field of gold. I like the pink chest down there. Oh yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Beautiful gardens along the river. We did it. We did it, yeah, 530 yeah. steps later. Yeah. Don't feel like that many. Is it no. that many up and down or just up? I think it's how many climb up because you oh. think you're up there. Well then I don't know. Let's say it was all up. They're yeah. all up. Yeah. We're such troopers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely worth it for the incredible views. It's a lot easier when it's quiet. Yeah, last when it's busy in there. Yeah. Last time we were here with our friends, it was just packed. Yeah. You feel like you've washed up yeah. and then you wash down. And it's just a queue of people going up steps. <laughs> it's not pleasant. No. But no, it's been nice so far. <laughs> bird show? Yeah, I think we're a bird show at the um, Falconry? Falcon, Falconry something. Yeah, I've got a pin badge for it and I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> One day, a young lad arrived at the castle. He was called Holly, and he was the son of a local fisherman. Although he had no training with birds, I was charmed by his passion and asked him out of pity what reward he would want for this. Gold? Silver? I wish to stand as your master falconer and see the skies above the castle full of birds of prey. Believe barn owls bring good fortune. 
And Hobby wanted to bring this bird to the castle, as he believed it would bring him luck on his quest. Oh, a wondrous sight! Eagle. Those that cast their eyes on this magnificent bird are transfixed by its presence and power. The sight of this bird took Hobby's breath away. Striking black and white plumage with a blazing yellow beak and talons. was in awe. And there was always one bird that he found the most thrilling. The peregrine falcon. The line of speed. When she tucks in her wings, she shoots towards Earth to become the fastest bird in the world. Sitting on the hunt, takes Hobby's breath away. He longed to learn more, to be tested. And now, when this life, that test would come. They were the Harris Hawks. <laughs> Hobby learned that they lived and hunted as a family with a strict hierarchy. It was an Andean condor. Oh. Legend said this was the largest bird of prey in the world. On seeing this magnificent bird, Hobby knew this to be true. <laughs> or a bone-eating vulture. A bird that can soar over the highest and most desolate mountains of the world, scouring the land for carcasses and, most importantly, bones. On all his adventures, Hobby has found many wonderful and unique birds. But there was one he still wished to find. And as he was about to return to White, his wish came true. Oh. This was the Bald Eagle. To Hobby, 
This bird conveyed power and freedom. A dominant and forceful bird that will face any kind of threat and never hold back. Fast, agile, brave, magnificent. Whether soaring effortlessly or powerfully flapping its wings in flight, Hobby was transfixed. Mm. He also wished to see the skies above the castle fall once more with birds of prey. Mm. Warwick had a new hero, and I had a new master. Who was destined to protect the care of these beautiful birds? Wow. Wow. Do <laughs> not miss that show. So it's called The Falconer's Quest. Yeah. And I've seen Bird of Prey shows before. Yeah, I like that that was incredible. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Wow, wow, wow. It's half an hour long as well, so yeah. it wasn't any it was a proper long show. Yeah. Great story and some of the birds. I know. And the how sweet it was the Harris Eagle, wasn't it? They kept swooping yeah. between people and the, yeah. that enormous Beautiful. condor. I know. Hope you've enjoyed the footage. Natalie did well, I think. Oh, it was hard work, it was a hard <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> but wow. So we've got half an hour left until it closes. So we're gonna do the zog bit. Yeah, let's do the what's it called? I don't know. The Dragon's Adventure. Yeah, we're starting <laughs> on not. year four. Because oh. year one's at the entrance. Oh, yeah, okay. But then again, it might be the right order on the film, on the vlog. We'll see. Nah, it won't be. <laughs> four, we learn to capture a princess. Down by the river, look for the mighty trebuchet, and you'll find oh, Princess okay. Pearl. There's princess the trebuchet. Is on the left, but she's with a child, so yeah, I didn't turn her onto the film. So this is a little bit of a play area. And look. A bit of the others than that. It's absolutely stunning around here though. Wow. So when I did the filming of the river earlier, it was up here. When we were going through the Knights Knights Maker? No, King's Maker. Oh my lord. These are cute. Got one. <laughs> so cute. So the princess is there. We just noticed there's a normal one, then there's this one, and this is wheelchair friendly. Oh, how That's nice amazing. is that? And then there's a trebuchet. Is it trebuchet? I always get one. Trebuchet. Trebuchet, okay. I think you put an L in. Like <laughs> I say, the show isn't on today, oh, so normally. No. This uh, is quite in disrespair. Oh. Not able to launch. Oh no, it's broken. It's normally it like catapults over there. It was built in 2005. It's very impressive. 2005? Oh, Ursa is the Latin for bear. Oh. This is where you come to get your stab. Power. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a princess. Oh. oh no, it's like Sagadabout. Oh, it's Sagadabout. Oh, you see it better the opposite way. Oh yeah. Sagadabout. Yeah. <laughs> the other stamp is here with the Dragons Learn to Fight. You know, it's not going on, but we're still getting the stamp. He said it's not cheating, but I think it is. <laughs> What's that one? Oh, another Sagadabout. Oh. I think they're all Sagadabout. Oh, right. So this is year three. So what years have we done? We've done four and five. Four and five. Three. Time. Dragons learn to breathe fire. Oh, that's why it's smoky. Oh, this is cute. Oh, what a good idea. Oh. oh. Then off and off. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is really cute. Oh, you put his fl oh, so he's you put his wing yeah. out. Oh. Oh, it's a dragon. With antlers. Wait. 
quite cute. Look, oh, what's so weird? Oh, look at Atlas. So Lancelot. So look, so no, it's a gadabout. Oh, okay. I don't think that is a gadabout. That's a princess. It is, isn't it? You, no, no. Yeah, it's a princess. That's a gadabout. <laughs> right, quick. Two left. <laughs> Just noticed this as well in the maze. Time passport. I don't know. Oh, yeah. it's very similar, yeah. Oh, I'll have to do that next time. We'll do that next time. <laughs> Learn to roar. Ah, oh, you too. Learn to roar. Ready? <laughs> oh, that's a bit pathetic. <laughs> babies. I have a kiss. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the one that the, the stamps are. Next. He is. Ooh. That one wins. <laughs> Stamp. Like a knife. <laughs> What's this one? Another one of the dragons. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the end one, the blue one. Yeah. It's cute. Oh. Here one. So what's this? To fly. Oh, he learns to fly. That's the first thing he learns. That's cute. Is and it, it is it Zog? Oh yeah. Zog. That's cute. And there's already got a photo walk with him. So of course we're going to have a photo. <laughs> He's so cute! And this is like the um, playland, Zog playland. We won't go there, we'll talk about all the kids. We're going to have a look. I know, it looks so cute. I'm home, but look how amazing this is. <laughs> wow, love it. Oh, oh this is so good. Oh, you're having a play. Oh, Jesus. And then they've got a sack. Oh, I've really thought about this. Obviously, in the one down by the river, they've got disabled bits as well. Amazing. Oh, yeah, a little refreshment, yeah, refreshment bit. Costa and cold drinks. Like yeah, so well. all of the snack places serve Costa. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hmm. Dog. There okay. he is. So that brings us to the end of our day. Oh, it's been fun. It's so been much fun. It really has. So we've got loads more still to do. Yeah. So we're going to be back in the summer and we want this to see... The War of the Roses, yeah. The Roses. This is our show, which is new for this year, which yeah. starts in on the 28th of May. Yes. We want to go and see that. So yeah. we hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. today's vlog. If you have, please like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe yes. for more content like this. Yes, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye.